Welcome to Grayon Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have two circles which uh, each of us a radius is one is uh, uh, put side by side in a line that is tangent. This line that is tangent to one circle is uh, from that point of tangency, it is connected to the other point of this circle. So, and another line from the point of tangency of this second circle is uh, connected via a line to this point of the other circle, which is in the left. So, and a line which connects from the circle on the left is connected to a point to this end of the circle. And this forms a triangle, a yellow triangle, which we have highlighted. Okay. And uh, we are required to find the area of this triangle. Okay, so our idea is, of course, since this is a triangle, the area is simply equal to uh, area is equal to one half times the base times the height. So, but the base is... Uh, the diameter of the circles, uh, the total diameter, and that is obviously four units. And we are only concerned about this height. Okay, so with if we have this height, then it will be easy to find the area. So let us focus on finding this first. Okay, so first thing you may ask is that if we draw a line from the intersection of the two tangent lines uh, from this intersection to this uh, uh, this point where the two circles meet. So this is actually a, a right angle. So you may ask. Uh, okay, so actually this uh, point where the two points of tangency intersect. Uh, this is actually we can draw a vertical line from this uh, point where the two circles meet, and this is actually a vertical line, and this is 90 degrees, and that is 90 degrees because uh, these two points of tangency has actually the same distance. If these two lengths has the same distance, okay. So if you uh, point out the intersection, uh, this will be uh, actually collinear with this uh, point because they have the same distance. Okay. So let us draw uh, a line from uh, this. Uh, point of tangency, any two point of tangency, so I choose the left point of tangency to the center of this uh, circle on the left also. And this is actually, since this is a point of tangency, then this is 90 degrees. And therefore, uh, this triangle, this triangle is actually a right triangle with a hypotenuse of this since this is one then this whole length is actually three and this uh, radius since this is the radius of one then this is actually one one unit okay so next is we draw another line from the point of intersection between the two tangent lines to this point so we draw a line and we see another right triangle okay so we compare this next uh, right triangle with the uh, right triangle earlier okay since we are dealing with right triangles we can make this actually a reference angle theta okay so it the the desired length is actually the opposite if we focus on this smaller triangle the desired length is actually opposite the angle theta so this length uh, and also the 
adjacent side is available. Okay, so this is just two. And the opposite side, if we focus on the larger right triangle, the opposite side is one unit. And the adjacent is not available. The adjacent side length is not available. Okay. So, but the opposite side is uh, available since this is the radius of the circle, which is one unit. So, uh, first we get this uh, length. Let's call this as A. Okay, so A by Pythagorean theorem is actually the longer leg. So, the longer leg of this right, the larger right triangle. So, uh, the hypotenuse is 3 earlier. So, we have 3 square is equal to A square plus 1 square. So, we actually have here 9 uh, is equal to a square plus 1. So, A square is equal to uh, 9 minus 1. So, A is equal to, if we take uh, A square is equal to 8. So, we take the square root of both sides. We have A is equal to, this becomes 2 cube. 2 cube. So, we can actually take out the 2 square. So, we have A is equal to 2 square root of 2. Okay. So, focusing on the opposite over the adjacent side with respect to uh, angle theta. So, if you focus on this smaller uh, triangle, uh, this smaller, the opposite is actually the unknown length. So, the unknown length is, let's call this as uh, x. So, x over the adjacent, which is 2. So, this is the 2. This is the diameter of the uh, circle. So, 2 is equal to, for this larger triangle, the opposite is equal to 1. Okay, so this is the length, the opposite of the to theta over the adjacent, which is, we have calculated earlier this length, this whole length, so that will be 2 square root of 2. So we cancel out this 2, and we have x is equal to 1 over square root of 2. Or we simply uh, rationalize this, so square root of 2 over square root of 2. We have x is equal to uh, square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so now for the final step is we have now the area is simply equal to 1 half times the base times the height. And area is, in our case, is 1 half times the base. The base is actually the diameter of the two circles combined. So that will be 4. So if you have a uh, radius, oh, let's say this is 4R. That is the base of this because there, uh, the base is actually uh, the twice the radius. So that will be 4R times the height. And the height is actually X. We have calculated earlier. So area is equal to 1 half times 4 times y times x which is which is 4 times 1 times x which is square root of 2 over 2 and we simply cancel this this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 so since there is also a 4 in the numerator we can cancel this so we are left with area is equal to square root of 2 square units. And that is our answer. So thank you for watching until the end of the video. Please like the video if you like our solution. And 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.